Well, what do we have here? Oh, hello, you look cold. And what do we have over here? Another cow. P4, did you have twins? <laughs> hey. Hey, good morning everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Welcome to my channel. And uh, today is Saturday. I think March 23rd. Yeah, March 23rd or 24th. I'm not sure, but yeah. As you can see, yeah, that cow just had some twins there this morning. So, yeah, I was getting a couple pan baby pens bedded. And uh, we're going to get these little guys in there. It looks like I think we have... I don't know. I haven't even checked this this other calf here to see uh, what its gender is. It is. Um, I think we have a boy and a girl calf, a free martin. I think we have a free martin. Yep, we have a free martin heifer. So, oh, but they're healthy. They're alive. So, yep. So. We're starting today out on a good note so far. <laughs> we need to get these guys bedded in here too, maybe if we get a chance to today. But yeah, we'll have to get her in and milk her and get some colostrum milk to the calves so they're happy. So, yep, that's what's happening so far here today. So yeah, I know I said I wasn't gonna do a video, but this is gonna be a, a short one here today. So anyways, I'll check back with you guys later. Okay guys. I'm back quick here. I just want to show you the calves. They got calf number one. Calf number one in, the, in, in her pen. And then uh, they got calf number two. You got him. Ramon. That's what I'm going to call him Ramon. You got him in calf number, or in the calf pen number five, I guess. Yeah. So, that's that. I don't realize how heavy calves can be until you have to carry them. <laughs> okay guys, back with you later. Okay, everybody, um, I'm just filling up the last pail of soybean meal here. Um, we gotta, we gotta do a change in a ration here today because um, we're gonna be feeding the cows some uh, lower protein hay, so we gotta put on more soybean meal. So we got We're going up from 2.7, 2.75 pounds per head to 4.20 pounds of soybean meal per head now. So. Um, Yes, so we gotta up the soybean meal rate too, so the cows get more protein, so yeah. There's still a little bit of that other bag left up there in the hill, uh, but uh, today we don't really have time to clean it up, so um, there's, I don't even know if there's uh, enough to, f we, there would be enough to feed all the cows, but um, there may be enough to fill the feeder wagon, you know, half full with what we need, but, but for the sake of time, because today, um, yeah, today's Saturday. Usually we always go to church on Saturday night, so we're um, we don't want to get too late here. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's kind of what's going on. I gotta get this um, pail, pail filled up here, and then we're gonna start the feeding tour. Hopefully, get done here um, before we gotta go to church. So, I'll uh, check back with you later. Well, hello there, Ginger. Hey, done bathing? Yeah, that's a boy. <laughs> um, one thing I forgot to mention you guys too um, is that uh, we're not going to let the cows out here today too for the sake of time so um, yeah we're just going to be leaving, leaving them in today but tomorrow Sunday we'll probably let them out again but yeah I am uh, just getting starting to load up the feeder wagon for the cows here we're going to do that first today uh, the cows are kind of hungry so that's what I'm up to right now is uh, 
loading up for the cows here and um, yeah it's another beautiful day here today and there is um, lots and lots of water melting out there lots of it and oops, way out over there that's turning into kind of a lake over there but yep at least the snow is gone is disappearing well i figured i haven't checked the oil on this thing for a while better check the oil check the oil and see what it looks at like um, yeah it looks like it's up there a little bit I think it's a little higher than it should be because you know, the tractor's, tractor's kind of leaning to the one side here itself. Another thing that I have not done for a while is I gotta check the, um, the fuel tank in this thing. If I can get up here onto the tractor. Because <sighs> this fuel gauge does not work on here. I don't know, looks like it's getting empty in there, so I'm gonna probably have to um, take this thing up to the yard when I get done, put feed on the feed wagon over there, but I'm just gonna get it started right now and uh, do that, but now this is where the fuel gauge, that's where it's supposed to go, but it, this is a 12 volt system, or excuse me, a six volt system. Yeah, it needs a six volt fuel gauge in there, but the other one burnt out, so they burn out easy sometimes. So, anyways, I'm gonna get this started and uh, get it warming up here. I gotta level up the feeder wagon, and then that's that, I guess. Okay, um, here's all the soybean meal and sodium carbonate in the toxin binder. Um, they're all here. So we've got 400, excuse me, 200 some pounds of soybean meal, about 18 pounds of sodium bicarbonate, and then about five pounds of toxin binder in that pail there. Actually, that's the wrong pail. I gotta get the other one. And then we got 528 pounds of ground feed, 200, 2,800 pounds of haylage, and then we got to put on another uh, 13, about 1,300 pounds of corn silage. Then we'll have it ready to go. We can feed the cows. Here's your kitty. Where? Okay, everyone, um, we got one last job to do. Well, we still gotta milk the cows yet. And, um, but before, we milk the cow, before I milk the cows, or we milk them, I gotta start up the skid loader. We gotta take uh, the straw bales down to the, the, the building that we call the new calf barn and bed them, because they really need to get bedded. So, um, yeah, so I, uh, I need to get get this going and uh, and uh, get those calves bedded here. So 
That's what I'm going to do here and uh, get that job done. Okay, got these guys. These guys are all bedded and they're happy. Um, they got a bale of hay here too. A square bale of alfalfa hay for them to eat. So they're they're bedded and they're happy. And uh, so uh, so I gotta go milk cows and uh, they're gonna be some. Those guys over there are going to be some happy campers tonight. Okay, everybody. Um, we're done with everything for the day. The milk is all done. Um, so, yeah. So, anyways, um, I wasn't even planning on doing a video today. Um, actually, I left my GoPro camera up in the house. So, I've done all this video on my phone and I thought, well, if I leave my GoPro camera up in the house, I won't be tempted to do a video. And, of course, those twins were born this morning, and oh, I just couldn't resist. I thought, oh, I got to share this and do a video. Well, then it started me doing a video today, and um, <laughs> here I am. So, yeah, another video. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a video tomorrow, Sunday or not so uh, you know one thing too i wanted to mention i might do some live streams in between because you really don't have to edit those and um so yeah that's kind of what the deal is so this this video was totally unplanned you know i wasn't even planning on doing it and um i guess so that's how it worked out and um it is what it is i guess so um, but yeah, like I say, when I, you know, I might just pick a random day, do a video, if something big happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I won't do one, but, um, yeah, so I'm, that's how it is, and, um, yeah. And I just, the corn is still drying down yet. It isn't, uh, it's got to be getting pretty close. Um, um, I've just been watching the bin. I, I just took a spotlight out there and shined it up there on top of the bin. And you can still see steam out, you know, when there's no steam coming out or like I'm wearing my glasses right now because I took my contacts out earlier. Um, when you go up there and you wear glass and your glasses don't fog up anymore. Well, you could tell when it's done, there's dry air coming out of the bin. So it, it will be done here shortly. Hopefully tomorrow or Monday it should be done. So we don't have to buy any more propane. So anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. So. Anyways, guys, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop down in the comment section below. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic, at Organic Dairyman. And please, if you haven't, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell at the top, so that way you know as soon as I put out a new video. And um, thanks, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out all my other videos. Share this video with a friend or family member. And... Uh, like I say, thanks. A big thumbs up to everybody that's taking the time to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, so I'll see you. I don't know when I'll get out another video. You know, I doubt I'll put one out tomorrow, but you never know. Whatever happens, but I'm going to try to cut back a little bit. So anyways, so, um, so I'll catch you later. And uh, whenever you, I guess whenever you see me put out a video or do a live stream, I guess that's when we'll, we'll see each other again. So, goodbye.